All right, if you clicked on this video, you probably already know why. This is the best way to maximize the amount of gems you get in anime adventures. Yes, I've spent a couple of days trying to, you know, experiment here and there, trying to see the best way to get gems, and I think I found out. The, the best way that I found out gives you around 12,000 gems. 12,000. And this this accounts for a lot of calculating. So if you don't like numbers, I'll just I'll just simplify it in the end. But uh yeah, this is how I basically got it. So, watch the video. Alright, so I'm gonna go at this as quick as possible. So basically, uh, the whole method that I did was just find, trying to find like the fastest way to get gems in infinite, since that is the most efficient way. But I also did one infinite run just to show you how much you get with, uh, you know, VIP. And yes, I did buy VIP, I know. Hey! I don't care. It was worth it. It's only like three bucks. Who doesn't want to buy that and like lower their gem cost and double their gem in AFK? Like what? All right, whatever. But besides that, I ran five trials in AFK. Uh, not AFK, but uh, infinite. The first one was uh, 100 minutes uh, up to 106 waves. The next one is 60 minutes up to 76 waves, I believe. Uh, the next one is 16 minutes, 30 waves, 12 minutes, 25 waves, and the last one, 10 minutes with 22. And I basically tried to see what was the minimum amount of time I could get with the most waves. I I could push out because the more waves you do the more gems you get but the lower time you do the more runs you could uh basically push in in one hour or the amount of time that you're planning or playing which in result gives a lot more gems and i found out the best way to do so so for 100 minutes i got 509 gems for 60 minutes i got 332 for 16 i got 109 for 12 minutes i got 89 gems and for 10 minutes i got 73 gems and out of all of those out of all those times you may be thinking longer is better since you get more gems but i'm here to tell you it's not the best amount of time that i got in the waves was 10 minutes like you might be thinking all oh, these other ones might be good no 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 10 minutes in 22 waves or 22 waves in 10 minutes is the best gem method that i've gotten so far and this might vary by the way i'll talk about that at the end but uh right now the calculations that i did was uh 73 gems every 10 minutes right and in 60 minutes six times the 10 minutes that's 60 minutes that's around six runs meaning I could do this six times in one hour. So if I multiply 73 times six, the amount of gems times the runs, I got 456 gems every hour. That's pretty good. That's more than AFK would ever do. Now, if you're a freak and you play for like 12 hours straight, let me bring it down to like four hours at least. So if I multiply the gems that you get every hour with four hours, 456 times four hours, you get 1,824 gems every every four hours. That's like an overnight with VIP. That's really good. But like I said, if you're a freak, you play for 12 hours straight, that's 456 times the 12 hours, also known as 5,000. 472 gems every 12 hours yes sir that's a lot of gems but if you're a freak freak and you play for 24 hours straight which i don't think anybody will right right i don't know at this point people will do it and people like bigger numbers so if you do it for 24 hours straight that's 456 times 24 which gives you 10,944 gems every 24 hours that's basically 11,000 gems who needs that much who needs that much i do actually give me those gems if you if you want to give me those gems give it to me now, if you want to add on to that, you know the fact that every 24 hours, there's a quest reset. So if you do all your quests, that's an extra, what, 500, 400 gems? That's at least 12,000 if you round it up. And that's a crazy amount that anybody would want. That's basically like a mythical pity if that's even a thing. Or like six legendary pities. That's nuts. But you should probably go touch some grass and like sleep from time to time and eat uh, if you don't want to get all those gems. But if you do, then it is what it is. So if you compare it to the other methods, I did it with uh, 12 minutes for 25 waves and 24 hours you get 10,680 gems for 89 gems every 12 minutes for 109 gems every 16 minutes 30 waves you get 10,464 for 332 gems every 60 minutes or 76 waves that's around 7,968 gems that is a significantly less amount than the first one and 509 gems every 100 minutes 106 waves 8,144 every 24 hours that's nothing compared to the first one that is such a huge increase massive increase and like i said if you add quest on top of that that's around 12k more realistically 11.5k gems which is still a ton now things you want to keep in mind are these notes right here the best units that you really want to get is erwin deal and speedwagon but if you're level 20 you could add on to like other units like broly all my just basically any ground units that could reach the start of namek where you could infinitely spawn camp them next one is that time may vary on the character itself level 
normal trait and rarity. Depending on the character, they might do less damage, might do more. The more damage, the better, all right? You just want to get more of everything, except for at least time on your uh, runs. Next up, the better the character, the faster the waves, because, you know, there's a way to actually make the waves go by faster, which is getting better units to spawn cap them. Since if the units are gone, the waves will just automatically start themselves. That's what you want to get at that point. Uh, Next up, we got time may vary on the amount of people. I didn't test it out with any anybody else. I kind of did this solo so you could see by yourself, like, you know, if you want to do it by yourself and you don't want to bring anybody along if they don't want to. But if you can bring people along and they have good units just as you, you might even get a faster score and get more waves. So it just depends. And then finally, of course, you want to keep in mind to uh, remove the characters a wave or two before reaching the time that you want to do, which is 10 minutes, because it does take a little bit of time for the units to actually reach the base. So that's basically it. It's quick and simple. All you want to do is go inside infinite, do a 10 minute timer, get as high much, get as high waves as you can, preferably around 22 or 23. If you can get higher, that's really good. But after that, you're set to go. You're good to go. You're going to get good gems. You're going to get a good flow of gems. But uh, you may uh, you may have to do this constantly if you want to get that amount. But besides that, that's it. Good luck if you want to use this. If you find better methods, then leave it in the comments below because I got to know if I messed up somehow. But yeah, hopefully this helped. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Welcome. If you guys already haven't, you should definitely like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell if you're new or if you want to help the channel grow. I've already said that a million times, but definitely do it. Anyways, there's these two videos right here that you might like to watch. Go check them out if you want to, but if not, you know, have a damn good day or night. Peace.